Good evening, Mirandis Adventurer. Would you like to know the best deals that are currently on the market right now? Whether you're a new player looking to get your first building in Mirandis and think you've already missed the boat because it's all sold out in the store, or whether you're an old player looking to pick up a bunch of buildings at the best possible price, I'm going to be looking exactly at how to spot those killer deals in the Mirandis markets today. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and as said in the title today's episode is about how to get these buildings at the best possible price the best possible deals so as you guys can see you know in case you're a new player out there one of the new players um, you know obviously you might have noticed if you've came to the store and checked Miranda's checked buildings you might have noticed that every single thing is sold out pretty much there might be one or two things available I don't actually know no absolutely everything's gone so if you missed out, no you actually have not, uh, obviously you guys um, know that the markets are down right now, so yeah everyone's kind of like sad and obviously you know NFTs have lost quite a chunk of their value, but there are also some killer deals out there waiting to be picked up, waiting to see who is, uh, is going to have diamond hands and who's going to have paper hands. So if you just go to OpenSea, one of the most popular second hand markets, this is where I've based all my data off on this video. You can see that um, you know all the stuff here available to pick up is starting at 0.05 ETH, so I'm assuming that'll be around about $100, and it'll be going up towards <coughs> crazy amounts. I mean, here's a storehouse, 0.37, so that'll probably be closer to $1,000. And um, I've got an Excel sheet for you guys to look at as always because this video isn't just um, me just spitballing. This is my proprietary spreadsheet that I have put all of the buildings uh, within Miranda's except some of the majestic ones because for the purposes of this video this is twofold. Primarily it's for the Dukers and to see what we want to buy next. But at the same time you know we might as well pump the entire market and let some of the new players come in and try and get their heads around what might be a good deal, where they should maybe go and everything else so here's the pricing for the the buildings this is a standard formula i haven't actually reverse engineered the formula but essentially it's just a basic function of the size versus the rarity um and it, and it comes out to these values in gala at the time when i made the spreadsheet which was about five days ago uh, at the time when i made the spreadsheet one ETH equaled fifteen thousand gala as well so with that out of the way Here's what we're looking at. So take the Simple Forge for example. The Simple Forge is currently selling for 2,300 gala. Uh, there's a high uh, buy order, which is a bid uh, on OpenSea of 1,600 gala. Uh, the historical average price of the building is 3,300 gala. And the store price, if you went back to the Gala Game store, is 872 gala. So this is what, what can we understand from this information? So right now what we can see is if you were to go into the second hand market right now and buy a simple forge you would be paying about three times the store price um, or if you were to make the most competitive bid you would still be paying just just over two times the store price however you know in terms of the average price like how much it's sold for over its entire history and I think the Simple Forge has quite literally hundreds of sales I mean we could we could we could check it out right now uh, Simple Forge <coughs> there we go yeah so the average price is here um, and this look I mean there's literally been I mean on this day alone there was one sale I don't know how many instances of a sale there's been but I'm assuming there's at least a hundred uh, sales of this thing so there's quite a good sample size to go off of and there's a lot of information to go off of if we didn't have this much data on this particular NFT or any NFT that you want to assess then you've obviously got to take the data with a grain of salt because it could be a statistical outlier <coughs> but yeah so I think the average price of 3000 Gala, obviously Gala didn't used to be worth as much so you know you can take that in the historical context and then just base your um, assessment off the store price. My personal assessment on this one just would be that this isn't a good deal. 
but we're not interested in my assessment, we're interested in building up a formula and I'm going to give you guys some help actually to do that as well and build up your own formula to assess the, uh, the value and, and if it's a good deal and what you should do. Uh, so you can go through all these um, and you know for the for the jukers out there, for, for me and the boys, uh, we're we are going to be going through these and we're going to be trying to find the best deals here. I actually genuinely don't know what they are right now and obviously I'm going to continue working on this spreadsheet after this video um, is out. But this video is just to help give everyone a sort of idea of kind of maybe what we are doing and what maybe you guys can do as well uh, if you want to get your own value assessment. Oh there is one more. Um, one more thing, the lowest recorded sale. So this is like the, the cheapest that is ever sold on the second hand markets in recorded history. So 0.02 ETH, um, obviously, you know, given the price of 15,000 gala, uh, that would equate to, that would equate to 300 gala. So, you know, if you can get something at uh, the lowest recorded price, you know, that should instantly be, you know, that should be a green flag in your mind saying, yeah, this is probably a good deal. You know, if, if you're buying it cheaper than anyone's ever bought it in history, I mean, any, any anyone could, could see that to be a good deal. Some of the red here are no data because, for example, Large Brewery, that no one's currently selling one. Um, there is a bid on it. There's obviously data on the average price. There's data on the store price. There's a lowest historical sale, um, you know, one sold for an ETH. I don't know who sold a large brew for one ETH, but you know if you want to sell another one at that price, you know hit me up. Uh, links in the description. But yeah, let's let's look at an example, okay? So I found something here, which but it's not related to Miranda's, right? So it's, so it's not relevant for, if you're just specifically looking for Miranda's related stuff. But look at the corporation deed. The current low sale is seventy three thousand gala. Um, I, I can show you all this information here. Let's, let's look at it in the actual uh, in the actual thing. So, so that one sold uh, as, as expected because um, you can sometimes see good deals but the current low price uh, is selling for 80,000 gala which you might think is quite a lot. Um, there's a bid right now for 38,000 gala. The historical lowest price it's ever sold is 3.5 ETH which given the 15,000 gala per ETH that I showed you guys would be around 50,000, 50, 55,000 gala. And of course, if you went to the Gala store and looked up legacy stuff, then um, you could see that it is 308,000 Gala. So there's still some available in the stores so that hasn't driven secondhand sales that much. Somehow this thing is literally like one, one third, maybe even like three quarters cheaper. Um, and that's kind of what I want to show you guys as an example. So let's go back into the spreadsheet and show you the, the, the formula I've built up. So, just based on the corporation deed, yeah, and based on the data that I took five days ago, which is now sold, that was 24% of the store price. The store price was 300,000 gala. You can see it there, 308,000. Um, and the current sale price, as of a few days ago, was 73,000 gala. So it was, it was 75% off, guys. The average price was at 73% of the average price. So all of the sales history, the current price was 73% of the average price. So on average it was a good deal. And the lowest ever price recorded, that 3.5 ETH, is 140% of that. So it's not this this at the time this wasn't like the cheapest it had ever been in like recorded history. But given the fact that it was lower than the average price, it was three quarters of the 75% off one quarter of the store price, and it was only 40% above the lowest recorded sale price ever, that might be something that some people would want to buy if you're interested in legacy or, or whatever. But you know, this same uh, example will be will be used in the Miranda's buildings. Uh, so what about the offers then? So the current offer, 32,945, that equates to a 90% discount on the store. That's only 11% of the store price. Uh, versus the average price, or what it sold for on average throughout its, its, its recorded history, the current offer is only one third the price of the average price. So that's 67% off. And what about the lowest ever recorded price? Well, the lowest ever recorded sale was 52,000 gala. And obviously that would mean that uh, 32,000 would be 
even lower again. So if that person who's got that offer up gets accepted, he'll have won a watch because he will now be the new like lowest ever price on the uh, on the building. So that was 10 minutes guys. I don't even know how that took me 10 minutes. That's really scary. Let me just wrap the video up really quickly then and talk about how I'm going to be deciding um, what Miranda's buildings to buy. So I've got an instant buy formula, which is if the if the current price is less than 75% of the store price and is the lowest price in recorded sales history, you just go in and buy it. Simple as that. If um, so, 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 like, obviously, that's not like set in stone. That's not like guaranteed happening for the Jukers. That's not like guaranteed happening for me. I might not even ever, you know, use this formula. This is just for educational purposes. If you guys want to, you know, get into the mindset of, you know, thinking about buying the dip and stuff, um, and obviously, it's for the Jukers to consider as well because, you know, we might not want to go seventy-five percent. We might want ninety percent off the store price. You know, maybe maybe seventy-five percent is even too too extreme. Maybe we, we want only fifty percent off the store price. But here, these are just like, you know, default values that I've put in for now and, and that I genuinely do think is, is quite sensible for, for what it is. So that's if you want to instantly buy the thing on the market. But what if the price is still 75% of this or less, so one quarter of the store price, but is not the all time lowest, but is instead um, just somewhere below the average price then what you could do is if it's still 75% of the store price you could place a bid at the average of the high bid and the low sell so in this case um, somebody was selling at 73,000 gala somebody wanted to pay 32,000 gala so given that it's less than 75% of the store price uh, less than one quarter of the store price um, then you could do an average bid of 53,000 gala and that would still be a really good deal uh, and then you can cross-reference that with the lowest recorded sale. You could maybe expand the formula, make it a little bit more complicated, and uh, you can see that it's basically it's a fraction of the lowest ever recorded sale. So that would be a competitive bid in that case. But let's get a little bit closer to not like killer deals and you know kind of sort of good deals, but not like obviously you know throw your bags at it straight away deals. So what if it's less than half the store price? Yeah but it's less than the average price. So it's not like 75% off, it's like 50% off. But it's still under the average price because you don't ever want to be paying greater than the average price because that's obviously not an average deal. So it needs to be below the average price of what it normally sells for on average and it also has to be at least a 50% discount on the gala store price. In that case, if you wanted to, you could place a low bid so you wouldn't look at the average, you wouldn't try and like greatly outdo the lowest bid. You would just go, well in this case, the high the high bid was 32,000 gala. So maybe you could do 33,000 gala. Um, you know, assuming it was less than 50% of the store price, um, but still less than the average price. And then what about, uh, you know, when, it, when I have assessed it not to be a good deal? Well, let's say it was less than 50% of the store price, but it was greater than 100% of the average price. And obviously, on average, that's not a very good deal, so you just would not place a bid. Um, and if you guys want to do this in Excel, it's going to greatly help. I'm going to be doing it in Excel, and this is the universal formula. This isn't actually the universal formula, this is literally just the instant buy formula. And uh, what you can see here, what I've done, is I've taken these three sales, the low sell, um, the store price, and the recorded, lowest ever recorded price, because that's the three elements that are involved in the instant buy formula. Obviously, all these formulas would require all five of these cells, but there's how it looks in Excel. And basically, the 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 outcome of this one was next formula. But if it was a universal formula, it would just tell you what to do. It would say instant buy, place a large bid, place a small bid, or just do not bid. Um, but in this case, it will be the instant buy. So the two outcomes would have been. If, if the if function was positive, then it would be instant buy, of course, because it's the instant buy formula. Or if not, it would be next formula. So this formula basically is looking at the current sale and the historical lowest price. So if the historical lowest price was, let's say, higher than the lowest sale, because obviously you know right now, look, look at this, it's 24% of the store price. 
So that's better, that's greater than 75% off the store price. So you would think that that, so that's checked a box. But to do to complete the instant buy formula, it needs to be greater than 75% off store price. And it also has to be the lowest ever recorded uh, price in, in, in the whole history of the of the NFT. So if I just changed the, you know, by default up to 73,801 gala, then obviously the formula would change to instant buy. Now the, this changes some of the data in these cells, obviously it's now 24%, 73%, 100% of the lowest ever price, whereas before it was these values. And as you can see, when I go forward to the, the higher, so if that one hadn't sold at 50,000 gala, then it, the instant buy formula would just tell me instantly buy. Um, but obviously given the data that we've got, given the parameters that I set here in the instant buy formula, uh, it's just telling me to go to the next formula, so I'd have to create a formula now for the large bid and I'd have to create another one for the low bid and for no bid and obviously once I've done all of those I'll then create a universal formula which is just one cell and it'll just tell me which of the four things to do and I can use all this data here in order to do that and I can just have it in a column here and it'll just tell me, you know, let's say no bid, no bid, well that's a really good deal uh, but not, not the best deal ever, so let's go high bid uh, this one might be instant buy, I don't know, maybe the Grand Forge, okay there's none for sale right now, but let's say somebody put one up for, you know, 29,000 gala store price, then that might be an instant buy, I don't know, it would depend on the parameters of uh, of the formula. But yeah, I'm still building up the formula, there it is again guys, if you want to, you know, copy paste it, make your own Excel sheet, um, then yeah, that's what you can do. But thanks very much for watching guys, 15 minute video, quite a long one, but definitely quite an important one. And uh, good luck, uh, new players and old players alike getting those good deals. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.